What is going on, everybody? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Hopefully the uh, audio is good and crisp. Hopefully. Uh, anyway, I've got a lot of Washington Commanders news for you guys, and it has been a while since I've done a talking head video like this. Uh, you guys have seen a bunch of highlights on my channel, and to all of my recent subscribers and engagement, thank you so much. But I've got a lot of Washington news I want to talk about with you guys, so make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video. See you very, very soon. The Commanders have honestly been rolling with a new uh, head coach, new staff members, new front office, and Dan Quinn is wasting no time and, and getting his guys, the guys that he wants, with tons of experience and guys that I think personally have a lot of, uh, a lot of ceiling. Now, I think there's a typo there. It says, you former Lions, but we're going to ignore that and just focus on the news. Anyways, Dan Quinn, new head coach of the Washington Commanders. They're under new ownership. They're supposed to have getting, gotten rid of all of the toxicity that is in that building, and they're wanting to really switch things around, which is great for the Commanders. Uh, the thing is, Dan Quinn, to me, has never been... He's a good leader, uh, but I don't think... As a head coach, he has what it takes to bring a team to the Super Bowl or win a Super Bowl. But I'm taking a look here at what he's doing as, as far as hiring coaches. Listen to this. And I'm a big fan. He hired Cliff Kingsbury as offensive coordinator. I'm not super high on Cliff Kingsbury, but I think he's a solid, solid offensive coordinator. Not a great head coach, but solid offensive coordinator. Joining Cliff Kingsbury is David Blau. I think that's how you'd pronounce it. Blau, he's a former uh, NFL quarterback. He just retired so he can join Cliff Kingsbury. He played with him, I think, as a Cardinal when Cliff Kingsbury was head coach of the Cardinals. Um, David Blau, I think, has got an excellent mindset and a great, great offensive just like understanding of the game. And he's going to be working as an offensive assistant under... Uh, Cliff Kingsbury, but joining Cliff Kingsbury on the offensive side of the the, the staff in Washington, uh, assistant head coach, passing game coordinator Brian Johnson, quarterbacks coach Tavita Pritchard, uh, big name there, run game coordinator Anthony Lynn, former head coach, uh, he's been a run game coordinator in San Francisco the last two years with Christian McCaffrey, who's been absolute stud since going there, and he's been healthy for the most part. Wide receiver coaches, uh, Bobby Ingram. Tight ends coach, David Rye. Rye. Offensive line coach, Bobby Johnson. He's well-known around the league, been in the league for years and years and years and years and years. Assistance quarterbacks coach, David Blau. Oh, so he is on here. Okay. Assistance offensive line coach, Darnell Stapleton and offensive assistant coach Andre Coleman and offensive quality control coach Shane Taub. That's just offensive. I, there's tons of great names. There are tons of experience in between these guys, and I think there's a lot of upside for some of the younger ones. On the defensive side of the ball, you have defensive coordinator Joe Witt Jr., who I think is going to be really, really good. I don't think he was the best pick as defensive coordinator, but... He has a lot to prove, and he's got a lot of ceiling. So we're going to have to see what the Washington Commanders can do there. But I do love the defensive staff he's getting. Daryl Tapp, linebackers coach Ken Norton Jr., defensive backs coach Tom Donatel, defensive pass game coordinator Jason Simmons, senior defensive assistant John Pagano. Yeah, not Chuck, but assistant defensive line uh, coach Sheriff Floyd, who is a former player. He's only 32 years old, I think, and... He's got a sharp, sharp mind. Tons of ceiling as far as coaching goes. Assistant linebackers coach, passing rush specialist, Ryan Kerrigan. Assistant de defensive backs coach, William Gay. Tons of experience there. Defensive quality coach, George Banco. Not really sure on that name. Uh, so there's just a lot, like I, th I think a lot of room for growth here as a team. Uh, I do like the staff that Dan Quinn has been putting together over here in Washington. I want you guys to tell me your thoughts down below uh, about the David Blau um, with Cliff Kingsbury. If you think they can really get a quarterback in that room, get him going. Um, and tell me who you think they're going to target in the draft as far as quarterbacks go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed here to the end, make sure you comment that you stayed here for the entire video. Uh, like I said, I don't post videos like this 
too much, especially during the season, but I, I want to do it more, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Much love. See you guys later.